So we talk about the importance of protecting critical infrastructure. A great example of this coming out of Iran. Maybe a couple lessons we could learn for home. Uh, today's not so critical update. Not a lot of detail in this story, but basically we have a confirmed cyber attack in Iran that was focusing on gas stations and also billboards. And the message basically was call the government to find out why this is happening uh, from the message from the hackers. And the reason I bring it up really is just as a reminder of why we need to focus on our core critical infrastructure. Uh, if you think of billboards and gas stations, you might not think of those as top cybersecurity priorities. Much like maybe, I mean, we would have said probably Colonial Pipeline was pretty important. Let's keep that protected. But you don't think of the impact of that until, like, think about the impact of your local gas station going offline because of a computer virus. And think of that happening to every local gas station within 20, 30, 40 miles of your house. That would be a major problem for a lot of people. And how much cybersecurity focus do we think local gas stations have on keeping their pumps secure? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> right. I mean, I guess I would say I assume there are systems in place, but even where I am, in the past f five years, we'd hear stories all the time about people installed credit card skimmers on the machines, and the solution was to go put little pieces of security tape on the on the credit card readers now. So, okay, low-tech solution, solves the problem, whatever. But these things are vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and because they're manned by some stoner teenage teen who's um, not really paying attention and doesn't know anything except for how to, you know, hand over packets of chewing gum or whatever. I don't know how it works in the US. Do you have like, the, do they sit behind a glass screen and have a little window they pass things it, out? It depends. It depends on what kind of service station it is. Uh, a lot of times, if they have like a little convenience store, it just be a counter, and you can. T I mean, now they probably have plexiglass up, so you're not breathing on. Oh them yeah, behind yeah, the counter. But COVID. Um, t if you're in a maybe rougher neighborhood, you'd see people in more secure enclosures. Okay. Uh, but where I am, surrounded by farms, we don't. Is it all self-service like, stuff? Uh, not what about self well. You so, could be self-service stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of self-service. You pay at the pump with a credit card, or you could go in and pay and and come service yourself. Uh, New Jersey is doesn't have self-service. You have to have an attendant come out to your car. Uh, but where I am oh. in, in Pennsylvania, we have full self-service. And I don't think the threat is like somebody. Some I assume <laughs> somebody's not going to walk into a gas station, get access to their Wi-Fi, and hack the pump out front. But they're. I know. I think it, that's it. <laughs> I, mean, I hope that's not true. If if it was that easy, it'd be happening all over the place. I would think. I don't know. Who, Lack of basic main... research. This is what the show's all about. <laughs> the, first, the first thing that I thought of when I heard when I heard about this story was, okay, well, this is the ones that we do hear about. So what? Where? Where is this all happening that we don't hear about? Um, if it's happened here, like, okay, so this is a run, and it's a terrible shit show. Uh, over there at the moment um but it, it, if it's happening there then it's probably happening in other parts of the world as well that we just don't know about maybe perhaps it's not publicized perhaps it's not even known but you know germany the uh, uk us malta it's it's um it's the kind of infrastructure that's not really monitored for like cyber security attacks is it yeah. it's like health it's like uh, hospitals and stuff they have such shitty it budgets and and you know that they're, they're one of the main targets yeah and that that's a really good example and and there are a lot of the premises well these aren't devices that are normally connected to the internet so if we have them running on windows 3.1 from 30 years ago who cares uh yeah. but they get viruses in the article they do say that these attacks they think are probably state sponsored they don't haven't said or don't know exactly who but it, they, they said they think it's a state level attack. And and that would be, I think, a risk e even here in the US, uh, in a lot of countries, because of what you just said, we don't have that focus on protecting our core infrastructure. The Port of yeah. uh, Houston attack a couple of weeks ago, yeah. they got into the network. They got lucky yeah. because well, it was limited I, scope, but they were penetrated. I do think a lot of these are actually low tech things where you, know, you, you find a, uh, uh, my, my cousin used to work for uh, a, 
an arcade, like with arcade machines. And he took me around one time and showed me because he, he repaired them. And he showed me, he could predict like which, um, uh, which numbers and things would come up on, on a slot machine because he knew them so well. Like in certain situations, like if there was a particular combination, then he would know that that would be followed by another particular combination kind of thing. Um, and he was telling That's me that there was this one particular... <laughs> yeah, there's this one particular trick where if you drilled a hole in the side of the um, inside of the machine in a specific place and the, the drill was long enough, then it would just instantly trigger the jackpot. <clears throat> and there was people who would go around to the different um, arcades and they would do, do exactly that. And it, you know, it's slower than just infecting it. I think we're so sort of used to the like automated attacks, these massive cyber attacks that yeah. the low tech stuff, like if it was state sponsored, I don't think it would cost that much to just hire a bunch of people locally and say, hey, go around all these places and plug this USB stick in. And if, you know, maybe there's like a USB slot that was, wasn't was properly secured or it was under a flap or they just have to lift up the break a bit of the case off somewhere and stick a USB stick drive in. I think that's pretty likely. Yeah, it's... Um... I guess, like you said, sometimes I wonder why we don't have more of those kinds of problems. Like the election machines. Yeah. <laughs> For all the fuss <laughs> about elections being stolen, there was a tremendous amount of inv investigation that found there really is no problem at all. And I was honestly kind of shocked by that. As I thought, I mean, if you look hard enough, you're going to find some. Obviously, these machines are vulnerable to something. No, they held up pretty well to most of the scrutiny. I think that's a lot. It's like the Y2K problem or the Y2K non-problem. Right. Um, Which employed me for were... over a year and a half when I got out of the Marine Corps. <laughs> well, there you go. That was, yeah. I had a job yeah. researching Y2K compliance for medical devices. Wow. See, you, you, you're helping the world. You do some good in the world. Wow, I solved my... Y2K. Yes, that's my, yeah. <laughs> Single-handedly. Thanks, Mike. The internet thanks you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, no, it, it's because of all the like kind of panic and um, and the and the work that went in before Y two K. It didn't. It wasn't that much of a problem in the end. And I think the same thing happened with uh, voting machines. The people who caused such a fuss in the first place were actually effective at scaring people into yeah. fixing them before they became issues. Oh, yeah, that's an interesting parallel. Ca called out create all the commotion and then nothing actually comes of it, but everybody moves on. Well, because they fixed it because they were, yeah. they were terrible problems with the voting machines. Early on. Yeah. Early on. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 So focus on uh critical infrastructure and, uh, an update. <laughs> an update. Wow, we really fizzled out at the end there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>